The Tonga volcanic eruption was equivalent to one hundreds of Hiroshima bombs, says NASA. Hundreds of Hiroshima bombs. The volcanic eruption of the underwater volcano in the South Pacific between Fiji and the North Island of New Zealand in the Kingdom of Tong Tonga peaks on January 15. More explosive force than 100 simulations, simultaneous Hiroshima bombs, NASA scientists reported Monday, 24th of January. And this uh, eruption is still ongoing. Now, using a combination of satellites and surface-based surveys, researchers calculated the explosive power of the volcano based on the amount of rock that was removed during the blast from the island of Hunga Tonga, Hunga Hapai, where it sits, the apparent height of the eruption cloud, and several other factors. The height of the ash cloud went up to 40 kilometers. Now, this is a primarily estimate, but they think they said the amount of energy released by the eruption was equivalent to somewhere between 4 and 18 megatons of TNT. Jim Garvin, chief scientist at NASA's Goodar Space Flight Center, told NASA's Earth Observatory blog, one megaton is equal equivalent to one million tons of TNT. That makes the Tonga eruption potentially hundreds of times more explosive than the atomic bomb that the United, drops, uh, United States dropped on Hiroshima, August 1945, which uh, is estimated to have exploded with 15 kilotons of energy. It also makes Tonga the most powerful volcanic eruption seen on Earth in more than 30 years since the eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991. A new class of eruption, the Tonga volcano, erupted violently January 15, several weeks after a series of smaller eruptions in that volcano dated December 20, 2021 that shook the uninhabited island of Hunga Tonga, Hunga Haupai. The now obliterated island form the uppermost part of the massive underwater volcano, which rises 1.1 miles, that's 1.8 kilometers, from the seafloor and spans 12 miles across, or 20 kilometers across. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. Garvin and his colleagues have been monitoring the Tonga volcano since 2015, when magma from the volcano pushed new land above the water surface, connecting the islands of Hunga Tonga and Hunga Haupai. Frequent eruptions are to be expected from volcanoes like this one, where liquid water and scorching hot magma often come in contact, producing violent explosions of steam, Garvin, Garvin said, and such eruptions are known as Surtseyin eruptions. However, the explosive January 15 eruption, which sent a column of steam rising halfway to space, was far more violent than a typical Surtseyan eruption, Garvin said. This violence may be due to the unusually large amount of water involved. Some of my colleagues, he said, in volcanology, think this type of event deserves its own designation. For now, we're unofficially calling it the ultra Surtseyan eruption. Devastating as the eruption was, it's still just a glimpse of what Earth's most powerful volcanoes are capable of. For example, researchers estimate that the 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption exploded with 24 megatons of energy, while the 1883 Krakatoa eruption unleashed 200 megatons of energy, according to NASA. This was originally from Live Sciences on Science Alert. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.